Hello. How are we all? <sighs> now, they say the only problem with opportunity is that you've got to recognise it's there. And sometimes, in a video I shall be getting on to, <laughs> it just lands right in your lap. Um, that said, it got me to thinking and I went to go and get my big file of letters from the days when I used to uh, used to write to the papers a lot. Before the days of Facebook. And obviously it's not just letters I've had published in there. I'll, um, hang on, I'll show you. It's, there we go, that, that's the file. It's, it's all the stuff I've done, all the articles and, and obviously things to do with the council case. And uh, as I said, there may be a few videos done today, but I should get onto this one first. I think this is quite comical. This is dated, um, this is from the Cambridge News, and it's dated Saturday, December the 11th, 2010. And the, tight, the headline of the article is uh, Snack Bar Faces Legal Action Despite Council Losing Papers. <laughs> Now remember that, December 2010, and what is it now? It's no, nearly November 2014. Hmm. So almost four years old for a bit of paper wrote about it. Uh, a mobile snack bar operator will face prosecution if he continues to trade without a licence, even though a council has lost official documents relating to the licensing scheme set up 25 years ago. Huntington District Council is adamant the scheme to license street vendors would set up properly um, and that my mate with the burger van, his name is here, I'm not going to read it out, I'm sure a lot of you have guessed who it is by now anyway, who operates from a lay-by near the St Ives Junction on the A14 would be breaking the law if he stays in business without the £1,300 licence. <laughs> Now thirteen hundred pound. That was for one. That's one year. One year. I think it's up to oh, about fourteen fifty now. They charge them if they want to trade five days a week, and they don't get any services for that at all. Um, but Paul Dacre is a former district councillor. <laughs> uh, believes they have won an important. Victory with the council's concession, it no longer has the letters uh, warning other authorities of the licensing regime introduction. I don't know how we knew they didn't have the letters, I think we were just guessing back then. Because actually, in, in May of 2010 or something, uh, Roy Reeves, who used to be head of administration, um, had written to me and, and said this would have been done. They would have written the, the letters they needed to get permission. Um, Mr Dacres believes the council cannot now prove the formal notices were served and that the licensing scheme was therefore not valid. <laughs> I'd say so. So, um, oh, I'm just going to scan through this. Um, he has been trading without a license for six months now. What does that tell you? Why haven't they done anything? Their behaviour has been absolutely atrocious. Well, that's true. Uh, Roy Reeves. Oh, here we go. He gets a mention. Head of Democratic and Central Services at the District Council said they had no reason to believe the licensing scheme was not valid and had evidence the process had gone through at the time. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you lying bastard. Uh, if he is still there, the council will take action against him for unauthorised training, uh, trading, and he is aware of this fact. This licence does not apply to food vendors on... No, I'm not of that. <laughs> well, guess what, HDC? He's still there! It's now November 2014. Nearly. Very nice. Is it the 31st today? Is it the 31st? I think it is. Yeah. So that's four years. 
He's, he's remained trading for four years, HDC. Is it because you're all a bunch of lie thieving bastards who can't account for any of this money that any of the traders have paid anyway because it's not in your fucking accounts? <laughs> but of course you're being protected by a bed police force, really. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, it's incredible. I've forgotten all this stuff was here, to be honest. Hmm. Could have some fun with this file. Anyway, so there we have it. There's proof. Um, can you see the date there, I think? Is that the right? No, that would be the right one. There we go. Snack bar faces legal action. And so they did, I suppose, really. Um, they tried to get two years' worth of money off him and got, got the judge, obviously, um, um, went in their favour. However, they appeared to have lost a year's invoices, which the judge covered up. And uh, also then got his name wrong on the warrant. So that was completely illegal. Um, so <laughs> still, that, that was only three and a half years afterwards. So obviously very swift action being taken there. <laughs> Fess up, HDC, you're a bunch of lying, thieving fucking bastards who don't give a toss about the taxpayer. God. Close down. Close you down. That's what you need.